hello and welcome to my youtube channel dd electrical in this video we are going to discuss about types of three page induction motor and their comparison so let's start so induction motor are mainly two types according to the rotor first is squirrel cage induction motor and second is phase wood or slip ring induction motor so first we will discuss about squirrel cage induction motor almost more than 90 percent induction motor are this type this type of rotor is simple and robust construction it consists of cylindrical laminated core with parallel slots which carry copper bar as conductor as shown in this figure so the advantages of squirrel cage rotor are number the main advantages is it reduces the magnetic humming and it also reduces the locking tendency of the rotor it has one disadvantage that it starting torque is less because the rotor conductor are short circuited due to it it is not possible to add any external resistance to the rotor circuit next phase wound or slipping induction motor it consists of a laminated cylindrical core and it carries a three phase winding similar to the stator the rotor winding is uniformly distributed in the slots and usually star connected the rotor winding are connected through slip rings to the external resistance the three brasses are connected to the three phase star connected rheostat as shown in this figure at starting the external resistance are included in the rotor circuit to give a large starting torque this resistance are gradually reduces to zero when the motor runs up to speed the external resistance are used starting period only after starting period the resistance are automatically cut out then the wound rotor runs like a squirrel cage rotor in this type of motor we can easily control the speed now coming to the comparison between squirrel cage induction motor and slipping induction motor in squirrel cage induction motor the rotor is simple in rug in construction but in slipping induction motor the rotor construction is difficult because in this motor slip ring and brushes are provided next rotor conductor or rotor bars are short circuited with end ring in the case of sugar cage motor but in slipping induction motor a starting in starting the three phase winding are connected to a star connected rheostat and during running condition the winding is short circuited at the slip ring next in the in case of sugar induction motor we cannot add external resistance but in slipping induction motor we can add external resistance next cost the squirrel cage induction motor is cheaper in cost but in slipping induction motor the cost is slightly high next efficiency squirrel cage index efficiency of squirrel cage induction motor is high and slipping induction motor the efficiency is low as compared to the squirrel cage induction motor the in squirrel cage induction motor the starting torque is low but in slipping induction motor the torque starting torque is high in squirrel cage induction motor the starting current is 5 to 7 times of the full load current but in slipping induction motor the starting current is less and the power factor of the squirrel cage induction motor is low and but in the slipping induction motor the power factor is high so these are the main differences between squirrel cage induction motor and slipping induction motor so i hope you will understand this please subscribe my channel and keep watching